Off the top tonight at 6 o'clock, pill problems for Perigo. Metal shavings in its medicine bottles being exposed by the FDA. The agency now threatening the company with legal action. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Stemble on top of this story for us, just back uh, with a, from a meeting with Perigo officials. What uh, went down there? Yeah, well, this all was a result of annual inspections at the plant. In a warning letter sent to the company, the Detroit District of the Food and Drug Administration says the drug maker knew about ibuprofen tablets contaminated with metal shavings, but did not take proper steps to keep them out of consumers' hands. Now, the tablets were released just to retailers from the Allegan plant about a year and a half ago. That's what the vice president of operations told me the metal shavings were found in a bottle, not within the tablets themselves. And the company still voluntarily recalled the potentially affected lot before it could reach the consumer. Perigo pharmaceutical products come into contact with metal throughout almost every stage of production, and that's why they all have to go through a metal detector before being released. Even so, the FDA warning letter advised Perigo to take action to correct several violations and prevent similar situations in the future. And their number one point to us was when you have deviations, when you have uh, anything that diverts from the normal path, whether it's an error by an employee or something that comes in from a supplier, make sure that you're digging to what is the root cause of that deviation and correcting that. While the metal shavings incident may be the most eyebrow raising, the FDA cites in the letter that it not, it's not the only agent only concern that the agency has. In that warning letter, the FDA district director writes, your firm has had an ongoing program since 2005 to address mix-ups. However, your firm continues to receive complaints regarding this issue, and despite past assurances that previous enhancements would control this problem, deviations continue. Now, the vice president of operations told me the company is taking the warning letter very seriously. He said they have teams of people focused on eliminating deviations from protocol in the future and are working with the FDA to correct the issues they've had in the past.